All right, this video is going to walk you through the exponent properties that include the negative exponent property and the rational exponent property. First, the negative exponent property. Whenever you have any kind of term in a fraction and you move its position from the denominator to the numerator or vice versa, the exponent's sign changes. Notice that if I have this written like this, if I bring it up to the numerator, it becomes x to the negative a. Or if I start with x to the negative a and bring it down to the denominator, it becomes x to the positive a. The sign changes. Next, rational exponents. When you see a, uh, any kind of value to a fraction exponent, the top number is your power that you see here, and your bottom number is your root. So that means then that we have the b root of x to the a, power. It can also be written as this, where you're doing the b root first, and then the a power. The order which you do them does not matter. All right, so now that we know those two properties, let's go over to this very first question over here. What I see is a radical, so we're going to incorporate this idea here. I see the square root of x. Now the question is, what numbers do I see, or don't see, that have to be assumed to be there? So first of all, uh, I, when I see a square root of x, like this, there's going to be a power you don't see, which is a 1, and a root, when we say square root, the number 2 is associated with that, that as well. Then, if I take that and write it as a fraction, it would then become 1 over x to the 1 half power. Now if I use my other property here, this negative exponent property, now that I have this down here written the way it is, if I bring it to the numerator, it becomes negative. So if I take this right here and move it up to the numerator, it becomes x to the negative one-half power. And that's what they want you to do in the directions here. This is our first answer that we're looking for. Next, uh, we're going to look at this. This next one here is very similar to the one we just did. It's going to be writing the denominator as an exponent. So I'll have 1 over x, the power is a 3, and the root is an 8. So x to the 3 eighths power. Bring all that to the numerator, and then you end up getting uh, x to the negative 3 eighths power. That is how you do number two. The third one is the same kind of deal. Uh, you're going to have this whole entire denominator here that we're going to try to figure out first. That 5 and x are all together being taken to the fourth power and the seventh root. So then I can say I have 5x all to the power of 4 sevenths, where 4 is your power, 7 is your root. And then still I have a 10 on top. Now in this case here, when I bring the uh, the 5x to the, the five x to the 4 sevenths to the, to the numerator, then I end up getting 10 times whatever else gets brought up there with it. So it'll be 10 times 5x to the power of negative 4 sevenths. That's basically it, and I hope this video helps.